very excited to be here at Farm Rock with Mr. Quiet Riot, Frankie Benelli. Thank you for being here, Frankie. Happy to be here. Tell me about what's going on at Quiet Riot World. Well, I think everybody pretty much knows right now that uh, we have the Quiet Riot documentary. Well, now you're here, there's no way back. And uh, on September 15th, right around the corner, that's going to be available for downloads on iTunes, Amazon, and uh, Google Play. So we're awesome. very excited about that. And then the DVD will come out shortly after that. And the great thing about it is anybody who has already seen the movie are going to get uh, over an hour's worth of bonus features that weren't included in the film. So. What's on the bonus features, if you can tease us a little? If you go to QuietRideMovie.com, very shortly you're going to be able to get um, links so you can actually see snippets. Now, is this dirt and all, or is this a polished version of the Quiet Riot story? What, what are we going to see? It's not polished by any stretch of the imagination. As a matter of fact, uh, the director-producer, Regina Russell, I gave her complete and total carte blanche to film anything and everything and to use anything that was in my archives. Um, and to give you an idea that it's not, it's not some behind-the-music, sugar-coated right. kind of thing, there's things in there that when I watch it, I cringe. Okay, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm going, oh man, really? Did that really happen? Did I yeah. really do that? Did I say um, that? Did but, I... Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's a it's a true story, and it goes as far back as as the original version of the band with Randy Rhodes and Kevin DeBrow. Oh my God! All the way through real time. Wow. Well, it's been a roller coaster ride. I'm not going to ask you to dig into the depths because I know you got to get up for a show. But what would be a highlight, a high point when you look back over your Quiet Riot career? What stands out in your mind? Go, wow, that was really cool. Uh, for me personally, uh, from a non-business point of view, is the first time that uh, that Kevin Dubrow came and saw me play with another band, and that's actually film document footage that's in the documentary. Oh really? Yeah, um, I think from a Quiet Riot perspective, probably the first one that comes to mind is the US Festival. Okay, yeah, because yeah. Because at 11.30 in the morning, we were playing to over 375 people and we knocked it out of the park. Yeah. And, and from that point on, it all started to go. Okay, well, well tell me about the Quiet Riot lineup today. Who's in the band these days? Well, the last version of Quiet Riot before my best friend, the late great Kevin DeBro passed away included Alex Grossi on guitar, which Kevin personally chose Excellent. when he wanted to work on some solo stuff. And Chuck Wright, who has been uh, a part of the Quiet Riot fabric as far back as 1982. Um, and uh, our singer uh, is Jizzy Pearl, who is formerly from Love Hate. And he played with rap for a while. And he played with rap for a while. Yeah. He's a total pro and everything. He's got uh, the pipes. Yeah, and everything has been great. We've been on tour since uh, January. Uh, we have dates already into November, and we already have uh, dates booked uh, next year. That's cool. Well, and a lot of guys I've been talking to today, everybody's just happy to have a gig and to be playing. Is that kind of way that you feel? You're a musician, you get to get out and bang it out still? I, I never take this for granted. I mean, every opportunity we get to play, I take it very seriously, and one thing about Quiet Ride is I ensure that nobody ever phones it in. Right. Because you never know when it's going to be the last time you're going to get to do this, so don't waste it. Every single gig is important, be it a, be it a club or be it a festival, they're all important. 